there's a series of photographs that Alfred Wertheimer took, for instance, when Elvis is returning home to Memphis after recording Don't Be Cruel and Hound Dog in any way you want me and appearing on the TV shows and going to Richmond and putting on an incredible uh, per two performances there. So Elvis is returning home and he's with the band and he's with the colonel and Alfred Wertheimer's on the train. And as they're, pro as they're getting closer to Memphis on this, what was a long train ride, it was over 20 hours, Elvis realizes that there's a station before Memphis that's closer to his home, which was on Audubon Drive. This is before Graceland. And Elvis realizes this and jumps up and uh, tells the colonel, hey, I want to get off here. Uh, let me off here. Uh, it's closer to my home. And that station, by the way, was called White Station. And Alfred Wertheimer, instead of grabbing his bags and trying to jump off the train with Elvis, um, because he was tenacious as a photojournalist in following Elvis when he was with him, whatever he was doing, and, um, but he, he decided to stay on the train and photograph Elvis as he got off at White Station. The train stopped, Elvis got off by himself, left his luggage on the train, just took his little uh, record player that he was playing his acetate recordings that he had just made in New York of Don't Be Cruel and Hound Dog, and we have a series of photographs of six or seven photos that the Smithsonian Exhibition is showing that shows Elvis leaving the train by himself, walking up to the sidewalk, approaching a, an African-American woman who was on the street, asking her directions, which way is it to Audubon Drive, is it down that street? And we see her directing Elvis where to go. Elvis walks on, the train starts pulling away. Elvis turns and waves at the colonel and Alfred on the train, waves goodbye to everybody. The train pulls away and you see Elvis just walking down the street alone. And this series of photos is most probably the, the, the last document of Elvis Presley actually walking along as a normal human being. And it was something very touching about these photographs and something very extraordinary about them because they literally capture him at sort of the last moment